Welcome back to another vi video tutorial. Um, I just woke up, so excuse me if I don't know how to talk at times. <laughs> I woke up. I overslept today, but anyways, let's get to the tutorial. Um, alrighty. So in my recent tutorial, I showed you the export settings for ITV, and there was one thing I didn't show you, and that was um. Here, I'll show you right now. Go to display options, and then right here. Last time I had it set to drop field. You want to have this set to progressive scan because progressive scan is necessary when you have a fast computer. So select that. If you're running a slow computer, you want drop field. But if you're running a Mac like myself, select progressive scan because it boosts your quality. And uh, I've noticed a boost in quality, so it's pretty sucks. I. All right, so. Yeah, that's that. Let's go to iMovie. Okay. So I have my uh, clip that I exported. Okay. So go to export using QuickTime. And name it whatever. Whatever. Eh. And then uh, for export, use Movie to MPEG-4. And then go to Options. Alright. File Format. MP4. Don't select this one. That's a no-no. For Video. Video Format. H.264. And then for the data rate, you want 13,824. On ITV, you should have your megabytes per second set at 13.5. If you don't, go do it now before um, doing anything else because that's important and that's how you get the best quality. All right, for optimized, optimized for download, not streaming, image size 2080 by 720 HD. And for the frame rate, 30, keyframe automatic. Go to video options. These sh two should be selected by default. Puberty. Uh, deselect those because when you do, you get improved quality. So do that. And for the encoding mode, select best quality multi pass. Cool beans. Go to audio. This should all be default, but if it ain't, just look at it now. Audio format AACLC. Data rate 120 ki kilobytes per second. Channel stereo, output sample rate 4800 gigahertz, encoding quality best. Got it? Coolio. Alright, and then for streaming, this should be just all default. And this doesn't really affect anything, so just leave it be. If it uh, if it's not the same settings as mine, and if you want to go ahead and set it the same as mine, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so um that should do it, yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial, and I hope it helped you. Leave me some feedback, rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, give it a like or a favorite. Um, so I know that I helped you and you enjoyed the video. And um, and it really uh, motivates me to make more, and so I know that I'm helping people. And I like making video tutorials, so please, feedback would be appreciated. Alright guys, thanks for watching.